I went to school in South Africa, I also went to medical school at the University of Cape Town in Cape Town, South Africa. And after finishing a residency and working for a little bit, I came across to America and I went to Georgetown in Washington, D.C., where I did my medical residency and gastroenterology fellowship. The camera actually looks like this. It's a little pill. It has some batteries and it's got a high-definition camera. Then we get them to swallow it um, in the office and as the camera comes out of the box, it automatically starts. The camera can directly visualize the inside of the intestine like we do with endoscopy. Mm -hmm. It will tumble through the bowel taking pictures for eight hours creates a video. When we download that onto our computer, we see a video of the camera moving through the small bowel and you can control that video. You can't stop and reverse the camera, but you can stop and look back and forward at the pictures. And you're looking for things that you don't traditionally see well on the other test. The monitor which the patients wear, so they have a little harness that's connected to little markers on their chest. And this is a radio frequency transmission from the camera to the to this device and then this device is then brought back to us at the end of the day. So this procedure being a, uh, minimally invasive, a patient doesn't have to um, have any surgery, don't have to have any anesthesia. Usually the expectations is uh, for a test is that you worry about the uh, procedure itself and obviously the outcome. With this procedure we we usually tell the patient they're going to feel nothing. You do the procedure, the patient will bring back the monitor. Um, my staff will download it, it takes a few hours. So we'll run it and you'll see that, you're even seeing a picture of, of the people preparing the camera to be swallowed. And then uh, it runs like a video and it's being swallowed. Now it's hitting the small, the stomach first and then the main purpose we have little markers over here, color markers that can tell this is in the stomach and then the color changes. And the minute it changes, you'll see it actually getting into the small bowel right here. And then we'll allow the camera to run, watching the whole video through the small bowel until it gets all the way through the small intestine. And then usually we can know that towards the end it's getting into the colon. Um, and. Uh, that allows us to look at eight hours of pictures within a short span. Uh, the camera actually tries to help you by identifying certain areas that are red. And if we go to a full, full, full view, then you'll see that it's trying to identify on automatically on the software that there's a, a source of bleeding. This is a generated report which is available for keeping in our electronic records obviously referring it to the referring physician or giving it to the patient if they're interested. So we have this on record permanently. And uh, right away we spring into action to call the patient, tell them the results. And if anything else has to be done, then we'll go from there, tell them what needs to be done based upon the results. Very effective and uh, an unbelievable invention. It opened our eyes to a whole, uh, whole new horizon of uh, evaluation of the small intestine. Thank you.